alla amatriciana, bacon and onion pasta. Pancetta is the Italian style rolled cured meat. It's similar to bacon, but it's not smoked. So if you can't find the pancetta, don't worry about it. Chop up some bacon, throw it in the skillet with a little bit of EVOO and you're good to go. Let it get fairly crisp, but don't take it all the way. When it's still, you know, it's rendered some of its flavor and some of its fat, then you're gonna add the uh, garlic right in there. I don't put the garlic in in the beginning because it can get too hard and too bitter. I let, the, I let the pancetta give off some of its nice flavor first and then I get the garlic in just shy of super crisp. You know, you don't want to take the pancetta too far. It'll be too firm in the sauce. So then I add a little bit of onion action in there. Now again, I didn't come up with this one. This is an Italian classic dish. We used to call it Pasta America in my family because we couldn't get the uh, a la matriciana out quite well, <laughs> but it's not American at all, it's Italian. So uh, the classic elements of it are the onion and the pancetta and the garlic. Then I like to add my own little rach zhuzh to it, and I love the flavor of fresh bay leaf with onion. So in my a la amatriciana sauce, Pasta America for short, I add a nice fresh bay leaf. So I'm gonna pop one of those in there, give it a little pepper action, lots of pepper action for me. Let it do its thing. I salt it later, cause you know the pancetta is very salty, so that's fine. With this particular dish, I like to use a rigatoni with lines, a ziti with lines, or a penne with lines, rigate. So I got a pound of pasta going into heavily salted water. What you do is, once the onions get tender, it'll take oh, six, seven minutes. Then you add a little shot of the stock. Chicken stock, you could use a splash of beef stock or vegetable, whatever you have in the pantry. I like the flavor of chicken stock in this sauce. So you look for chunky style crushed tomatoes, one big can. Italian style, or you could just buy the whole tomatoes and cut them up in the palm of your hand working over the pot, and there you go. I mean, that's all there is going on here. This simmers together a few minutes, the flavors come together nicely, and then it thickens up like this. Now, heads up, before you drain the pasta, I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I like it nice and al dente with a bite to it, but if this, uh, if I have to drain this over the break, I want you guys to know, heads up, you take a little bit of the starchy, salty cooking water right before you drain it, and you add it to the sauce. Makes everything come together, and makes the pasta stick to the sauce nicely. A little starchy cooking liquid in your pasta sauce before you mix the two together. And always cook your sauce in a pan where you can mix all of the pasta and the sauce together. Ooh, I'm giving myself a big old pasta facial over here. Okay. Did that, now I'm gonna give the pasta a little shake here. I got rigatoni with lines so it holds all the sauce and the sauce is what it's all about. This is the tomato, bacon, onion, and bay pasta that I make, I love it. It's my version of pasta a la amatriciana. I'm gonna spin this around in there and get all the sauce together. Pull your fresh bay leaf out when the sauce is done. I'm gonna stir it all around there to get all of the pasta evenly coated with our delicious bacon. Uh, we, we used Italian bacon, pancetta, but you can use regular bacon too, it'll just be a little bit smoky. Oh, look at all that excellent, delicious sauce going all through and around that rigatoni with lines. Heavy baby into big bowl. Now I, you know, oh God, that looks so good. I just lost my train of thought. 